Okay, what is good internet? It's your boy again, Tunji from Caesar Graphics. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel and welcome to another wonderful tutorial uh, where I'm going to be teaching you guys how to achieve a good worship service at work. All right, so I want to especially welcome every one of you again to today's live training. I'm going to be sharing design tips with you and I'm going to advise you to get your pen and paper ready because this training is something I'm sure is going to bless every one of you. All right. So um, let's get started. We have now on YouTube. Okay. So I'm trying to notify my students that I'm live now so they can be part of this live meeting. All right. So, yeah. So like I already said, um, like I mentioned earlier, that I'm working on a worship service at work. And um, I have the elements that I'm going to use here ready and the reason why i decided to make this meeting a live training is because i'm trying to prove to designers who believe okay uh if i don't have all the other elements aside from the image of the i mean like the visual uh i can achieve a good design so i'm trying to prove to you today that you can achieve a good design with just having the picture of your characters of your character or characters so i'm going to use uh, a picture of my subject here to create my background and also we are going to um spice the image up because right now the image is looking uh, a bit dull and like what i always say to you guys that one of the things that I always have that I always make design project look rich and professional is when we add depth to the image of our characters all right so i'm going to be showing you guys how i do that here and i'm going to draw up my layout and explain why i'm using this uh, layout i'm about to um use here for you guys all right so today as you can see i have this picture of this character facing uh, this angle here so it means if i'm going to arrange my layout now i should use uh my contents all right should be here all right my content should be here and the picture of the character all right should be here so the idea is to make it look like the character is looking at the information that i have here and as you already know the information i'm making this bold is going to be the title and every other information will come below the title all right so i'm going to make this project look soft all right i'm going to make the composition look soft because of the uh the type of project we're about to work on it's a worship service so we need to create that impression of the atmosphere on the artwork all right so i'm going to create this smooth and calm feel on the project in order to make the viewers know that the meeting is uh you coming to, to experience smooth and calm atmosphere all right and that's one of the ways we uh tell stories in design is one of the ways we make our viewers know what is coming all right so i'm going to create the impression here now so right now i'm going to go to where i have the picture of the subject and i'm going to drag that and drop right here like so then i'm going to convert this to a smart object and i'm going to activate the free transform and scale this down so like i already said my subject is going to face this angle right here i'm going to place it here so to look like it's looking at the uh you know the title here all right so i'm going to make it a bit bigger like that because she's the uh music minister 
so i'm going to position this somewhere around here so i'm going to hide this for now and let's create our background all right so like i said we're going to make the background a bit soft so i'm going to use the lasso tool here all right i'm going to use the lasso tool here to crop where i notice i have less details on the outfit of my subject so i'm going to let's use this area here okay let's just use this area here all right so i'm going to just crop this out like that and i'm going to select the layer of the subject here and hit ctrl j to cut that out like that so when i say ctrl j i'm referring to the windows users but if you are a mac user you know the right key to use and for those of you, and those for those of you that don't know it's called command all right so i'm going to act i'm going to hit ctrl t to activate free transform and make this bigger so we are trying to create our background now right because um the background right now is looking too flat all right so i'm going to hit the enter key now and this is looking too blurry so i'm going to go back again and see if i crop out this area here all right and i hit ctrl j let's see if we use this area here and see if it's going to work so i'll make this bigger like that cool i think i prefer this uh particular this part of uh, the image all right so i'm going to hit ctrl j to make a copy of this and push this somewhere around here and activate the free transform and rotate this 180 degree and move this up like that and i'm going to position this somewhere here and i'm going to select the eraser tool and then i'm going to just softly blend this all right i'm going to blend it like that so move it up a bit and hit ctrl j again to make a copy of it and push this down and activate free transform and flip this horizontal then i'm going to make this a bit bigger and position this somewhere here so i'm teaching you guys how you can create a background from the uh with using your um your character as the source all right so i'm going to hit ctrl e right now then i'm going to go to filter here and i'm going to select liquify down here like that all right so i'm going to softly play with my liquify here because i really want to have that details on my background like that so i'm going to softly apply this here all right so remember like i said i'm trying to create something soft all right soft so that's why i'm using this effect that i'm doing here well if it's a thanksgiving service i'm not going to do this i'm going to do something different from this but because it's a it's a worship service all right i'm trying to create that impression on my project all right so i'm going to select the okay button i'm okay this way and this should be behind the layer of my subject and i'm going to go to future blog gallery and say uh shoot blog here all right, so I'm going to add just soft fill blur like that. Let's just move this to somewhere here. And then I'm going to select the OK button like so. All right, then right now, my background is looking too dull. So let's uh, give life to this. So I'm going to select levels now. And I'm going to use levels to boost, you know, this like that. Now look at this. Can you see this effect we have here? Now these are the things that give life to our background here. So I'm going to move this to somewhere here and move this to somewhere around here like that all right so yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to flip this because i already like the fact that i have this dark area all right this gray area on this side of um you know my my background here so i'm going to activate the freeze transform and i want that side to come to this side here and if i move this in like that uh, I, I like it this way so i'm going to hit the you know the enter key like that cool now as you can see now you see that our background is already looking like you know it's looking interesting so then i'm going to go down to the color balance here because there's a particular color i want to achieve here and this color is coming from the face of my subject here so if you look at the subject's face here you see we have this orange color on the face so i want to achieve the same color by uh mixing the color under the color balance here so if you don't have your adjustment tab simply go to windows right here and activate it here like that so i'm going to mix the color now and for those of you who are good at mixing color you know what the right color to mix 
to achieve orange so i'm going to move this to this side here because the mixing of orange is red and what guys yellow good so i'm going to move this here like that you see we're beginning to achieve the orange color so i'm going to add more of uh, red here and i'm going to move this and now you see our project is already looking more spicy all right so i'm going to stop right here on the work uh on, on what i'm on what i'm doing to the to the background and i'll go straight to the uh, layer of the subject i'm gonna make a copy of this and i'm gonna call this edits because this is the uh edit uh the uh the layer we're gonna be playing with so i'm gonna hide this for now now let's add depth to our subject here because you know the picture of our subject here is looking too dull and flat for me so first off we're going to add color balance to this by clicking on the color balance adjustment and i'm going to select the clip icon here and, and i'm going to add more orange to this so i'm going to move this here because there's also the hierarchy part of um you know colors in design because i want the focus all right i want my subject to take more attention than the background in terms of the color so i'm going to move this to this side here to have that you know soft orange like that and this is still okay for me then i'll go to a uh, curve right now to add depth to the shadow mid-tone and highlight so i'm going to click on the clip icon here and i'm going to add more depth to the shadow by pushing this down like so and i'm going to move this up right here like you know like that so this is okay all right this is fine but I'm still not like I'm still not feeling the the you know the effect on the subject because the the depth is still not strong. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add another curve right now and I'm going to select the clip icon. All right, then I'll use the lasso tool right now to draw, you know, um, a shape on the highlighted part of my subject because I really want to add more depth to my subject here sorry i'm supposed to hold down shift all right so i'm going to put this here and i'm going to draw this here like that and we're going to have another one here here and let's see i think so uh for this we can just have this tiny one here like that all right um i think that's it for that all right so for uh, the hand, I'm going to make just tiny, all right, like that, so if you're having fun watching what I'm doing right now, I would appreciate if you guys can drop a message on the, uh, just drop a comment, let me know if you guys are having fun, so just soft, um, you know, marquee right there, just small marquee right there, it's fine, all right, so uh, I know people who are into doing of makeups can relate to what i'm doing here because this is one of the ways they do all their controlling and all those things all right so that's the same principle that we designers also apply to uh adding depth to pictures so if you are a makeup artist and you're watching what i'm doing now i'm sure you can you can easily relate to uh, uh the goal of what i want to achieve here all right so then i'm going to hold on alt because the foreground color here is set to black so i'm going to apply the color of my foreground to the curve adjustment here so the shortcut for this is alt backspace which is uh option backspace for um mac users so now if i hold on alt and click on the layer mask to see where we apply the color to the layer max now so i'm going to hold on alt and click to bring back my project like that and i'm going to go to the curve adjustment here and boost this up like that now you see this is happening the other way so i'm going to select the layer mask and hit ctrl d and hit ctrl i to reverse the mask like that all right so let's make this more pop by adjusting the feathers so i'm going to move the feathers up like so all right so i'm going to add more feathers to this like that now look at how beautiful this is look at how cool and calm this made the, our subject face look so i'm going to move this down a bit like that let's see the before and after this is the this is the um the before and this is the after. i hope you guys are getting that all right so um 
all right so let's continue guys let us continue all right so uh right now uh this is okay on the highlight area of our project of our subject so let's apply this to the shadow path so i'm gonna go to the uh the curve that i applied before the uh the highlight curve so i'm gonna call this highlight all right so then i'm gonna create another curve right now by moving this down like so right so i'm gonna hold on alt and drag the curve from the highlight i'm i'm talking of the layer mask from the highlight now and i'm gonna apply it to the shadow curve here so i'm gonna call this shadow like that and i'm gonna hit ctrl i to reverse you know the mask like that all right so but right now this is affecting the image too much and i don't want that at all all right so i'm gonna move this down like that and um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take it i'm gonna reduce it look let's reduce the curve because it's looking too super strong on our subject and yeah so then now uh, for this i think i should more, add more curve, more feathers all right let's add more feathers to this and um so if i go back here now and move this up a bit like that so yeah cool so i think the color balance is affecting the color on our subject race so i'm going to reduce the color balance by changing this to three and let's make this to to be three like that cool all right cool all right then um so the other thing i want to do here is um you know the 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 uh the photographer that edited this picture made some funny move here which i think is not really okay because we are losing the noise on the face of our subject so we are going to bring that back all right but um for now let's just still continue with the you know making the helping the project so right now i don't like the fact i have this you know this orange color on the hair the orange color is too heavy so i'm going to use hue saturation to reduce the hair color so i'm going to move this down like that and i'm going to select ctrl i to reverse the mask and select the brush too and i'm going to increase the brush size like that and go to the brush settings here and select the soft round brush then i'm going to turn off pen pressure right now and i'm going to make sure transfer is checked my transfer control is going to be on pen pressure because I am using a tablet here, but if you don't have a tablet, you can turn down your flow to let's say eight or 11 and you're still gonna achieve the same move. So the idea of me working this way is because I wanna be able to control the strength of my brush. So I wanna apply the brush to the layer mask. But before I do that, I need to switch to white here. So I'm gonna apply the brush right now to the layer mask, like that, all right? cool this is cool all right um i think i should just reduce the hue and saturation of the the image so i'll go i'm gonna go on the hue saturation here and just move this down like that yeah this is good this is good all right so um i've seen some errors here that we need to fix so the first error that we need to fix is this side of the image so i'm going to add layer mask to this and select the brush tool and then i'm going to Fade this area out by switching to black here and then take this area out now when you're doing this please don't make it too razor sharp like this it's not always nice all right just you know fade it gently so it look as if there's this smoke effects coming in from you know the background that's overlapping on the picture of the subject all right so yeah this is good this is beautiful guys this is beautiful our project is looking more professional now all right, so what I'm going to do now is I really need to separate my subject from the background. So what I'm going to do is, um, you know what? I need to take out this area. Sorry, I did not remember to take this out when I was cropping the picture. So I'll change this to parts. So I'm supposed to take this area out. Like that. So I'm going to hit Control. I mean, alt backspace to take that out like that. Good. This is good. All right. 
so uh let's see the before and after and see if we are actually making sense here so let's see before now this is the before and let's see the after oh this is beautiful all right so let's uh spice this project more all right so i'm going to um create a new layer now and i'm gonna select the i'm gonna clip this like that and i'm gonna pick a color from my background so i'm gonna first off select the brush tool and pick a color from here you know select the brush select the uh brush settings here and go under the brush tip make sure you're on the soft round brush because i want to apply some highlights to the face of my subject here so then um yeah this is good and uh, let's see what else do we need to do um yeah so this is okay so then i'm gonna zoom in and change my blend mode here to screen and i'm gonna softly apply the brush like that to my subject you know like i said i'm trying to make the project look cool all right so one of the ways to do this is to make your subject look like is part of the scene all right don't create any separation here so that's what i'm trying to achieve you know here now all right so but as i'm doing this i'm trying to make i'm trying to make sure not to over apply this to the point where you know it's going to look like something is wrong somewhere all right so that's what i'm trying to do here right now all right so yeah so i'm gonna move this here so if you are a photographer this part is something i'm sure you understand how to you know do it right all right so i'm trying to apply a rim light to my subject here now so this area needs to be soft all right because the cheekbone hardly we only we hardly have strong shadow on that area all right so yeah so this is good so then i'm gonna make my subject a bit brighter so i'm gonna select the layer of my subject here now and come right here and make this you know a bit brighter like that because it's looking too dark so i'm gonna make this a bit brighter like that to really give it that you know that soft calm look guys all right so i'm gonna zoom i'm gonna position this here and then the other thing i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna create i'm gonna create a new layer again and select the brush tool then i'm going to Select the brush tool now and increase my brush size like that. And let's see if I apply a brush here and change my blend mode here to screen. And if I move this to somewhere here, all right, let's see if I move this to somewhere here and reduce the opacity. You see how soft and calm is given the project, all right yeah this is this is good all right so for my background here i'm still thinking of you know let's uh add more orange to this like that so what i'm doing is i'm looking at the face of my subject and i'm using that to apply the color to my background like that all right so then um then the other thing I want to do again is I really want to create more light effect on this area of my subject. So I'm going to select the cover adjustment and I'm going to select the clip icon and I'm going to move this up like that. Again, I'm going to reverse the max by hitting Ctrl I, select the brush tool and I'm going to softly apply. Now we need to be on white here. So I'm going to softly apply this back like that. All right. So as to, you know, like I said, I really want to give it that, you know, calm cool look all right now this is good so we are making progress now so what i'm gonna do is uh for this area here i'm gonna move this out like that so i'm holding out shifts as i adjust the um the background like that all right then um you know what guys i'm going to activate the free transform again because this area is where i'm going to put my logo so i'm going to move this up a bit all right now my my background is still looking okay all right i still like the fact that i can see the texture on my background like that all right then for my image here i'm going to create a layer because there's this light effect on this side of my subject here so we need to 
pick a color from here and then apply the brush behind our subject here to create that you know looking like there's a light coming from the back of our subject that is making us see that light on the face all right so um you know unity is very important in graphic design making your element look like they belong together all right so this is excellent so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to create um, a new layer again now and call this layer i just call this the vignette all right i'm gonna call this vignette like that and i'm gonna move this down then i'll change the blend mode here to luminosity all right sorry i think i'm doing this on the wrong layer so this should be luminosity then we're gonna move this down like so and i'm gonna hit ctrl i to reverse the mask then i'm gonna select the brush tool and then i'm gonna apply the brush to the layer to help the you know making our curve visible all right so the idea of doing this is to make attention be on the information i place on the lighter area of my project here yeah, so i'm going to create a new layer again and i'll pick this color from here and i'm going to gently apply the color to the projects i'll do the same move here like that and we're going to reduce this a bit because it's looking too bright on the face of my subject so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to add, add uh, a selective color all right and i won't really want to add more depth to my shadow so i'll go under the black here under the selective color and i'm going to move my black down to uh this side right there now you see we're beginning to have more depth on the shadow area of our subject which is the black all right then i'm going to add just soft red so the opposite of cyan here is red so i'm going to add just soft red to this right so just soft red, not too much just tiny soft red like that all right yes this is it so then i'm going to stamp visible the project and take this to camera or to uh add more depth to the project and i'm going to hold down ctrl shift alt and e like that all right then um i hope this is making sense to you guys please if this is making sense to you i appreciate if you can drop a message and let me know if it's making sense to you so then i'm going to convert this to a smart object then i'll go to filter and select camera raw filter here like that then uh, so here we are now in camera raw so i'm going to add soft contrast to this to add more depth to the shadow like that because it's not always good for you to make your project look like it's fading all right so for the highlight all right so i'm going to just you know uh, add a little bit of light to this like that and for the shadow i'll push that down a bit now you see we're beginning to see this you know depth on the face of our subject and for the texture for the texture um the, the picture is already looking too smooth so i'm not going to apply any texture to this then i'll go on that um sharpening here and i'm going to increase my sharpening to bring out the details on the face all right because like i said the texture on the face is very important so i'm going to move this here to bring that you know back like that and the other thing i'm going to do here is to go to color mixer all right okay you know what let's just keep the color mixer and go straight to the color grading because the color on the subject on the project is already okay so let's just add just soft red to our mid tone right so not red anyways orange so i'm going to add orange to my project here because i really want the orange to pop so i'm going to move this to somewhere here now you see we're beginning to have this unique cool look on our project so let's see if i move to this side here this is good this is good so i'm going to increase the brightness of the mid-tone like that all right to really give this that you know beautiful feel all right so i'm going to move this to somewhere here like so and i think this is fine i believe you can all agree with me that this is beautiful all right so um i think that's it for this and i'm going to let's just add noise yeah we also need to add noise because um like i said this picture is looking too smooth so i'm going to add just soft noise to this because the detail 
on the face is important here so i'm going to select i'm going to make this three and add vanier to this to uh you know really make that focus be on the middle center part of our project all right so i'm going to select the okay button now and this is beautiful so let's say the before and after this is the after and this is the before so this is exactly what i am looking for all right so let's start adding our text so i already arranged the text right here so this is it right here. but as it is now we can't see the text because the color is looking too dark all right so we are going to make that visible so then this is the uh information that i have on the project so i'm going to make uh this i'm going to open the folder here and i'm going to select all the text here let's hide this and i'm going to pick a color from the hair because uh we need to create contrast here so we need to be on the opposite color of our background so i'm going to pick this color here like that and for the wonder text i'm going to also do the same move right here and pick this color so we need to take out all this glow effect that i applied to the text all right so i already create the you know the the, the layout before this um training so um but i'm going to tell you guys the font the name of the characters that i use here so i have this script type here which is uh, shelly it's called shelly and this is called d dots all right this worship text here is called d dot and the other text i have here is still the d dot i guess it should be d dot all right should be d dot no it should be yeah, these are playfair all right this other text here that i have here are playfair so guys don't think i um jump out of the uh, three front rules all right i'm still on it all right so i'm gonna pick this right here and change the color all right and pick this like that so morphe is it do i can see your message you're, you're saying this is making sense i'm glad you are you know you're having fun all right so um yes so let's start making this pop all right because we can't just leave the color like this all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with the uh worship text here and i'm going to pick a color from let's pick a color from here because uh, this side here looks a bit um is in between the dark and the brighter area of the face so i'm going to select the ok button now and create a new layer and select the brush tool and bam like that so i'm going to hold on alt and clip this inside the worship text and i'm gonna make this real big like that we're gonna make it real big and this is gonna come right here all right you're gonna put this right here so i'm gonna make a copy of this again by hitting ctrl j and this is gonna come right here i'm gonna hold on alt and place this in click this inside the text all right so uh, i place my mouse in between the two layers and hold on alt and click immediately i have the slash arrow facing down and the uh, white box so this is going to come right about um let's say here like so and i'm gonna make a copy of this again and place this inside the night text like that all right so um let's see if we have this no let's move this here like that and for the so i'm going to leave the off and on text the way it is and i'm going to create a new layer again and this time i'm going to pick a color from here and make this a bit brighter like that and i'm going to select the brush tool this time this is going to be a bit smaller and we are going to click once here and clip this inside the text like that and let's see if i move this to somewhere here like that all right this is good so i'll make a copy of this again and place this inside the worship text and this is going to come right here like that okay we're going to make the same move again hit ctrl j and this is going to go inside the night text here like that now you see we're beginning to give life to our title all right so um yeah so this is going to come right here like that and i'm going to make a copy of this again by hitting ctrl j and this is going to go inside the off text all right so i'm going to hold on alt 
clip this inside the text and then we have this like that all right now this is not going to be too too much because the size of the character is small so we need to be careful not to make it uh, hidden okay so then i'm going to hit ctrl j and this is going to go inside the and text here so i'm going to hold on alt and clip this and then make this also soft because the character size is small all right so now let's look at this we have our title ready and let's add hue saturation to this to make the title pop so i'm going to select the clip icon here and i'm going to boost the colors by increasing the saturation like that all right i hope you guys are enjoying this because i'm having fun all right and i believe you guys are also having fun all right so for this all right i hit the fact that the text is overlapping on the subject so if i move this to somewhere here mm, is it gonna work um okay you know what guys let's just leave it right there for now we're gonna fix that later so we're gonna change the date to uh the date should be uh this should be uh um 11 uh eight this should be eight yes like that all right yeah so alabanji i like that i like the fact that you're, you're having fun watching me do what i'm doing now all right then the other thing i want to do again is uh, i still don't like the fact that my background is looking this soft all right so i'm gonna use type because you know type is one of the th the tools that we designers use to spice up our project that's if you know how to play with it well so i'm going to move this to somewhere here and change the color of this to white like that and i'm going to activate the free transform and make this bigger and this should be somewhere all right you know what i'll do i'm going to change this to small n and take this one out like that all right so I'll move this somewhere around here like that sorry i should be n i actually it's not it's nothing all right even if i don't put the i it's still going to <laughs> we can still do what we want to do all right so i'm going to hit the uh enter key now and change this to let's use color dodge all right um okay so let's use um overlay cool overlay is fine then we are going to move this out like that let's move this out like that and this should be here all right so i'm going to delete this then i'm going to hold on control and click on the thumbnail of my character image here and i'm going to select the layer max icon here and i'm going to hit ctrl i to reverse the mask and we have this so i'm going to reduce the opacity a bit like that then i'll uh turn off the chain holding the layer mask and the text layer so i'm going to so as to be able to move the text without affecting the um the layer mask all right so i'm going to move this somewhere around here or let's just make it a bit let's make it more uh bigger so i'm gonna move this up like that sorry i'm doing this on the wrong layer I'm, i mean i'm doing this on the wrong thumbnail all right so i'm gonna turn this off all right i'm gonna turn it out and activate the free transform and make this real big and this is going to come right here so uh the idea of breaking the chain is to not make this affect the layer mask so i'm gonna move i'm gonna connect the thumbnail together now that's the text thumbnail and the layer mask thumbnail all right so if i move the text now the layer mask moves with it all right but when you break the chain the layer mask is not, is not going to move with the text all right so what i'm going to do now is um i'm still not happy with the fact that my text is overlapping on my subject here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um move um I'm going to move the the date and time all right i'm going to move them down all right so i'm going to move the date time and the venue down here you know like that all right then we can now have the time on top of it like that wow this is a beautiful layout 
this is a beautiful i'm sure you guys can agree with me on that all right so where we now have this um the title now we can now have the name of the minister so the minister's name is uh in your life all right so i'm going to copy that now and we can now paste that here so i'll break this down like that then we can move this to somewhere around here we cannot make this a bit smaller like that so i'm going to make sure this align with one of the letters all right and we can now adjust the space between the rows which is the um the leading like that so it should be on the layer of the subjects here which is the name of the character so we can move this down a bit like that and then we can now still use the same script type to type uh width so i'm gonna make a copy of this then um this should be here and i'm gonna close this and this can come right here and then we can now type width okay like that and this can now be smaller like so and we can now place this this, this can now come somewhere around here another cool thing we can do is we can actually centralize this if we want to but um let's just move this to this side or right? i prefer it here all right like that and so i'm gonna move I'm gonna make this smaller, you know, like that. Okay, yes. So this can be a bit smaller. And for the name of my subject here, let's see if we make our name uh bigger. Since we make the date and time smaller, I feel if we make our name bigger, it will still help. Um, let's see if I move this here. All right, and make this smaller. Okay. And um, I'm trying to avoid not making the project too heavy. All right. Uh, let's see if I move this here like that. Um, or here. Or here. <laughs> uh yeah actually if i place it here it's still not bad all right but you know i'm a fan of playing all right i like to play when i'm working on design projects you know it's one of the things that help my help me with you know surprising my audience so for the title all right i hate the fact that the night text is you know really overlapping on the um uh, worship text this way so i'm going to add you know a, a, a layer max to this and go to the brush tab here and select the brush tool and i'm going to select the hard brush and i'm going to i'm going to zoom in like that and let's see if i switch to black here and take this out like that and also take this out from here and here like so and then um let's see if we take this out also from here you know, like I always say to you guys, visibility is very, very key in graphic design. All right. I really want people to see the letter G. All right. So if I take this out like that, I believe right now we can see the letter G clearly. All right. So switch to white here and then just make this visible. Switch to black and take this out from here like that and bam yeah this is better all right this is better and guys i am going to stop here and i'm sure that um you guys enjoyed this live training i'm sure some so many of you don't want me to go but we have to go guys because i have some other projects that i still need to work on so but if you guys don't mind i can also start the live training 
again for you guys to watch me work on my other projects for today but i'm sure and i believe that you guys enjoyed this live session if you do i would appreciate if you can drop a message on or in the comment section let me know what you guys think about this project if you guys actually enjoy what you watch um doing this is one of the ways you can also support me all right so let me know if you guys had fun and um if you have not subscribed please i will appreciate if you can hit the subscribe button let me know uh i mean hit the subscribe button and also remember to click the post notification bell so you get notified when i post my tutorials all right because i'm going to be doing more of um trainings like this for you guys to watch and learn so in order for you not to miss it i will appreciate if you guys can hit this subscribe button and also please guys share this training with other creatives let them also learn from what i'm ditching out you know for you guys all right sorry guys this is our work uh when i'm working on projects at times I, I don't i'm not the type of person who is fast with sending the project to the client i still take my time to see what i can add to spice the project and that's what i'm trying to do right now all right and i think this is better all right it's better this way and um thank you again everyone and i'll see you in the next one peace